Hi everybody and welcome to my very first YouTube video. So my name is Belle and I'm a professional photographer and I'm also an artist. I do a lot of crafty stuff, DIYs, recipes, jewelry making and stuff like that. So I decided that the best place to put all that and have a place for people to come and actually see how I make stuff is of course to make a YouTube channel every time I need to learn how to make something. The first place I go to is YouTube. I do post a lot of stuff on my social media sites like Instagram and Twitter, like every time I um, bake something or cook something or every time I make a DIY project for my house and stuff like that. And people are always asking me, you know, how do you make it? How do you do it? I know I'm a visual person, so I know it's just easier um, for people to have a place to come to and actually see how I make this stuff. So that's why I decided to start this channel. For this first video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the natural organic products that I use on an everyday basis. I do use all natural organic products like in my hair and on my skin and stuff like that. Um, and I have posted it in the past on Instagram and people always ask me like, what's my skincare routine? What do I do in my hair? And I thought it would just be cool to show you my collection here and show you kind of the stuff that I use on an everyday basis and why it's good for you and why I use it. And hopefully it'll help you out. If you wanna see my natural skincare and hair care collection, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with hair products. You can't really tell right now because I have my hair in this crazy uh, bun, but I do have long curly hair that can get really dry, it can get really frizzy and nappy and all that. So I do have to use products that um, are natural so they don't damage my curl, but also moisturize and you know make my hair look healthy and all that. My favorite product to use for that is the Shea Moisture products. This is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Moisture Retention Shampoo. My hair has been extra dry the past year because I did move to LA from Florida. It smells really good because um, of the Shea Butter. I have the shampoo, the conditioner, and the deep conditioning mask that I use about two to three times a week. It helps a lot with the moisture. In combination with that, I use the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grow and Restore Shampoo with Shea Butter and Apple Cider Vinegar. Castor oil is good for the growth of your hair. So like I said, I have really long hair. It's about down to my lower back. It says it's for natural, chemically processed, color treated, or heat styled hair. So if you're someone that wants to transition to go back to natural hair, like if you used to straighten your hair a lot and it has heat damage and stuff and you're trying to go back to restoring like if you have curls or whatever this is really really good for it so for skincare um first body wash i do use the shea moisture african black soap body wash um i used to use just pure african black soap but i have very sensitive skin and it can get really dry especially like i said now that i'm living in la so i like this one because it has shea butter in it mixed with the black um soap so it makes it really moisturizing if you have skin problems like psoriasis or eczema or acne i have eczema so this helps a lot it says it calms tears and heals so this stuff is really really good in combination with the black soap i do use my holy grail soap which is the dr bronner's cast out peppermint soap they come in different scents like almond rose um, i know they have like a plain scented one for kids but i love the peppermint one peppermint is really good for your skin and i also like it because i use it in the morning when i need to wake up the peppermint uh, it clears out your airways it helps you breathe better it wakes you up so i really love this stuff you can literally use it for anything you can use it to wash dishes you can use it to wash clothes i use it um mixed with a little of olive oil and i wash my brushes with it you can wash your face your hair you can brush your teeth with it it is all organic so you know you can use it internally also so 
Um, I use different cleansers depending on the way my skin is acting at that time. I do have a bunch of like little sample cleansers that I get from my Ipsy bag, which are usually organic and natural, and just other stuff that I use. Um, or I'll just use a Dr. Bronner soap, like I said. On days where I'm wearing makeup, I do like to use an oil cleanser to help take out all the makeup. So I do use the Julep Bare Face Cleansing Oil. It has rosehip seed oil. And I like this because it is an oil, but it does get foamy when you add water to it. So it's not like using straight oil on your face. It does turn into like a foaming cleanser when you add water. This is really good. I have oily skin, so if you have oily skin, you should be using oils on your face. I know it sounds weird, but oil does break down oil. In combination with that, I use the Thayer's Rose Petal Witch Hazel um, with aloe vera. It is a toner, so basically you just put some on a cotton swab, put it on your face. I use it a lot around my T-zone because that's where my pores are the most open and usually have the most dirt and oil and that just takes off any excess dirt and oil that your cleanser left behind. After I do my whole skincare routine at night, you know, washing the face and all that, I like to drown my face in pure rosehip seed oil. It's really good for wrinkles and fine lines and just general skincare. It just has a dropper and I just put some in my hand and I just put it all over my face and let it soak in overnight and you wake up, your skin is like really soft and supple in the morning. I do use shea butter for my body because shea butter is just really good for you. It's all natural, it comes from the earth. Um, it's really good, like I said, um, with the other stuff, if you have um, eczema or psoriasis or any type of skin issues, or if you don't, it's still really good for you, but especially if you have any type of skin condition, skin irritations, it's really good to use shea butter. They're both from bodybutterlady.com. I don't get them from the website. I get them directly from the guy that makes it. Um, if you live in LA, he's every Sunday at the Melrose Trading Post on the corner of Fairfax and Melrose. So I have the patchouli blossom and this one's called Mingle. You can also just get plain raw shea butter if you don't want anything with a scent. In combination with the shea butter, I do use this from Lush. It's the silky underwear dusting powder. I don't like feeling greasy and shea butter is really greasy. I just put this on top of the shea butter and it just mattifies it and makes you non-greasy. It smells good, especially in combination with the patchouli shea butter because this one has jasmine and cocoa butter. It just smells really, really good. Organic deodorant. I don't use regular deodorant. This one's from EO. It's the organic deodorant in citrus. So it's a spray bottle. You just spray it. You know, I've tried other natural deodorants like the Toms and stuff. I don't like them because they make you smell too natural, if you know what I mean. For me, so far, it's lasted all day. I don't feel like I smell at all ever when I use it, so I like it a lot. Another thing from EO, it's the same brand as a deodorant. This is their hand sanitizer in lavender. I like it because I don't like regular hand sanitizer. It actually attracts more germs to your hands when you use it. So I like this um, one because it's a spray, it smells like lavender, I keep it in my purse and I just spray my hands all the time with it. So two more uh, skincare, these are eye creams, this is the Nourish Organic Renewing Eye Cream, this is the Yes to Grapefruit Dark Circle Correcting Eye Cream. I alternate between them, sometimes I use one at night, one in the morning, or I just switch them around, the, they're both organic. And yeah, it's just good to use eye creams, you know, to help with dark circles and keep that part of your face hydrated. So that's it, guys. That's my whole natural skincare, hair care collection. Just basically products that I use on an everyday basis. I hope it helped you out. I'm going to have all the information in the description box. I really hope you like this video and that you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up so I can know that you know you guys like these types of videos. And of course, leave me any feedback that you have. I would love to know the type of stuff that you want to see or any suggestions that you have for me in regards to the video. This is my very first time filming a video and putting it on YouTube, so I hope I did well. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know how people do this. I'm tired of talking.